Hello you, welcome back. Today we are playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. How emotional was the last episode? We just finished Priority Chuchanka. <laughs> we lost Morden. I can't think about it because I will cry again. And it's probably not going to be the worst thing that's going to happen. I feel I have had all of my happy moments in the trilogy and now it's just going to shit. Everything is going to shit and now I'm just hoping there's going to be a happy outcome at all. I mean, it's Mass Fact, so there should be multiple outcomes, but are any of these happy? <laughs> I mean, why am I playing this? Just to forever be sad? <sighs> it's probably worth it. So if you're here, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, because I have noticed that like 50% of you are not subscribed. What do I have to do? <laughs> Tell me, I'll do it, but please subscribe to the channel because that really helps me out. And without further ado, let's get into it. Pew! Here we are again, sad and depressed. So let's check out the journal while we are here. I'm right where I left off the last episode. I could not bring myself to prep anything today. I was like, I'm still too broken up about it. All right, so we have the priority citadel. We're not gonna go immediately towards us, obviously. The Solarian counselor has concerns that the counselor Odina is a potential security risk. Right, I forgot about that. Go to the citadel and discuss the matter in person. I don't want to, but I guess I have to. We also have a link to hack it because um, I've put him on hold for a little bit because I needed to calm down. Here we are. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? I lost my best friend Morden, of course. Okay, galactic readiness. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? The whole lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Serious? Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... Really? This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. So we're left behind? We're slacking? Well, we're not slacking, but time is running out. Allied forces? What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Right. Earth Not Rex running the show is a bonus for us. Good. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. Bakara! I'm glad you disabled that mom on Tachanka. Say. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Wonderful. Good to hear. That is good to hear. Oh, we have a little bit more. Yeah, we don't have help with the Solarians quite yet. But we might be able to form an alliance with the Citadel Priority. I don't know. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Kira, hey! Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. Okay. These STG guys know the score. That's really good, They're though. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. Thank God they have their own minds. Typical Solarians. Love them. Love Solarians. I miss Morden. Was the best. Oh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. I'm going to cry again if I think about him. Take a breather, take a breather. Okay, the Ragnai. What about the Ragnai? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Ragnai are helping us build the crucible. I read about that. You're kidding. No! Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Group work, too. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. <laughs> Not a lot of small talk going on there. Well, you know... We need every little bit, and I didn't almost sacrifice my baby Grunt for the Ragnar Queen if I didn't believe in it. All right, what about Arya's reinforcements? Yeah, the blood pack and all the kind of baddies, you know? What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's yeah. someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. Well, here we are, the spooning. will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. Hmm. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnar Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. Right. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Wonderful. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Oh, I got her her favorite couch back. You know how it is. I'm wondering, it's mostly Vorcha with the blood pack. It's 
most of the time always been the Vorja and some Krogan mercenaries taking the leads on all of those missions. But I'm wondering now that Rex is in control and Chuchanka is slowly uprising and the Genophage is cured, that more mercenaries are returning to Chuchanka and becoming one with the planet and their homeworld again. I don't know. Anyway, mm, Reaper process. You know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. That's good. Or not Rex has deployed troops and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. Booyah. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks too. What about the Asari? Right. They have to They're here too. Lead. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Great. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Why? I can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Yeah, but enough well, to stop them? This war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. That is true. Just the ones who can threaten them. That is true. So, oh. So if we are destroyed, like the Protheans were in the previous cycle, and we all developed, risen up to lead this cycle, maybe the young will have their next turn of it. Maybe if the humankind didn't rise up in these latest years, maybe they would have left us alone too, because we would not have been a threat, because we weren't in galactic space fair at all. What about the Vos and the Elcor? Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evrun. Mm -hmm. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. Jeez. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. The Batarians? What happened to the Batarians? Well, we know. Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. Shit. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. That's so... that's sad, though. I know there's a few dwellings somewhere here and there, but I obviously had to destroy the mass relay there. God damn. I feel sad for the loss of even one species, no matter how Batarian they are. What about the Quarians and the Geth, though? Because they're eerily silent. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border. But our intel is sketchy. God damn. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Oh, I'm worried. All right, that's pretty much it, Hackett. Thank you. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. <sighs> hack it out. All right, hack it out. Oh, man. I am concerned. Oh, Morden. He's not... Eve is not going to be there. Bakara, her real name is Bakara. Morden is not going to be there either. It's probably just going to be Dr. Chocolates again. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, be happy, but I'm still sad. All right, so, Ezo Capacitors. A team of engine... Ooh, I'm over the minimum! <gasps> I'm over the minimum. I'm not going to attack the Reapers, obviously, but I'm over the minimum amount. <laughs> okay, I'm proud of that, though. Anyway, a team of engineers working on the Normandy SR2 developed the theory behind this piece of equipment. Dreadnought class drive capacitors use specialized ESO based compounds to channel and store terminal energy with greater efficiency than previous designs. Okay. These capacitors were quickly incorporated into the design of a device found in the Prothean archives on Mars. Oh, the one that Liara had, right? What about the Krogan? Ooh, 780. <whistles> Krogan clans! Centuries of Krogan infighting abruptly halted with the news of a cure for the genophage. Yeah, it's 300 points, guys. That's a lot. With their future restored, Chichonka's clans have united in a show of force not seen since the Ragnai War. The clans have also been stockpiling weapons of mass destruction for decades. I bet they did, those little Krogans. Thankfully, their full destructed force can now be turned on the Reapers instead of Chichonka. That's great. That's great. All banding together to face a common threat instead of each other. 
cool. Their strength, size, and regenerative powers make the Krogan ideal shock troops. They're amazing. Clan Erdnot, Rexy Boy. Clan Erdnot has become the unofficial but uncontested representative body of Krogan power to rest of the galaxy. Within the past decade, Erdnot warriors have either absorbed or wiped out clans Nakmor, Yordan, Kash, and even the legendary ferocious clan Reik. The discovery of a fertile Erdnot female rallied even more Krogan, regardless of affination to Erdnot's banner. Go Rex! Krogan mercenaries! Oh, I was wondering about that. Many Krogan went fortune-seeking out of lawless terminus systems. Their imposing bulk and infamous brutality won them prized positions as bodyguards and mercenaries. When news of a genophage cure spread, these drifters were contacted by their clans and urged to join shepherd forces against the Reapers. See, this is what I meant with the blood pack. Mostly Vorcha, because now the Krogan are back on Tuchanka. Oh, uh, look who's clever. Mm. After centuries of aimless brawls and bleak futures, Krogan everywhere are heeding the call. We did something right. This is all Morden. This is all because of Morden. Alright, Turian. Hey, babes. <laughs> the Turian 43rd Marine Division was founded during the ancient Unification Wars that rocked Palavan over 2,000 years ago. The 43rd maintains relations with other council races, running joint training exercises with Asari, Salarian, and more recently, Alliance military forces. Knowing how their allies fight has become an asset as the 43rd troops have discipline and the experience to integrate into any army on any battlefield. Yeah, they're pretty awesome, aren't they? So 90 points for that, 130 points for the 7th Fleet. The 7th Fleet was assigned to privilege and burden of guarding the Crucible during the weapons construction and deployment. The fleet flies constant surveillance around the massive device, coordinating with the Alliance security patrols and VI-run counterintelligence programs. Look at, look at us all working together. The Seventh Fleet knows what it would cost the galaxy if the Reapers breached their defenses. Every vessel's captain is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice if it ensures the Crucible's safety. Update it. Recovering the legendary banner of the 1st Regiment lifted the spirits of overworked Torian forces. Oh gosh. Alright, Turian Engineering Corps. In a society where military is synonymous with the government, the Turian Engineering Corps is responsible for everything from maintaining sidewalks to creating spaceports. Their fame spread beyond Palavan after they helped repair the damage done to the Citadel by the Sovereign in record time. TEC engineers view the Crucible as the greatest challenge of their career and have sped up the building process with their expertise and equipment. You go, boys. 445. Krogan are so strong. I mean, the Alliance is still up top, but Krogan forces? Holy crap. Oh, he's gone. And Rex is not here either anymore. I don't like this. I feel like I close a chapter here. All right, let's uh, rally the troops, I suppose. Check in. Yeah! That was really cool, though. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. They manage really well, though. I'm very proud of each of the races. It's incredible how much they were able to overcome from their past and look into a brighter... Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say a brighter future, but look towards the future against the Reapers. Hey, Samantha. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Novaria. Back to Novaria? Fighter base. The Tyrians have given us top level access to their combat data. Ooh. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. Ooh. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. I know. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard, it's another to see her in action. Thank you. I don't deserve that though, but thank you. Commander. Alright, what's this? 
Whoa! <laughs> What's this? Your regrettable decision. I'm gonna keep that for last because that feels like an attack on me personally. All right. ANN alert. New article on Reaper. Oh dear God. Alliance News Network Information Partners. Pharos. Uh oh. A group of colonists on Pharos have mounted an offensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for the civilians from nearby colonies to escape. You go! Oh, past achievements, guys. The informal Matilia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a savage guest attack several years ago. Yep has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. Ooh. The colonies are using improved, improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a defunct exogeny facility. Yeah, we remember that one. This colony is our home. Colony spokesperson Lisbeth Bayham said, we have survived worse and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper's forces arrive. We fucked up with the Asari that was working with Saren, but we didn't fuck up here. Still fighting! Shaia, Shaila, Jula, dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, I, I just read them actually, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The, tw the Torian, this is not Tor Turian, Ta Tarian, <laughs> this is not a Turian, is dead now. I can confirm that. But the spores in our bodies remain. Oh, this is the green Asari, right? <laughs> and on some level, we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind. Oh, so now it's actually in their advantage? Ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I willingly went to the, yeah, the Torian as its troll. But my connection to the people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper's voices. If it works for you, it works for you. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety. But with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of a veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon. And when the time comes, we will fight with you. This is incredible. Well, thank God I spared you, right? What, what's this about making babies? Is this Rex? Oh gosh, do I want to know? Impressive work first. Oh, Corinthius? Commander Shepard. When you first arrived on Manet, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavan might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthius, Manet Command. You're welcome! Making babies, what's this? Oh, I knew it would be Rex. I knew it would be Rex. Shepard, making... <laughs> I don't want to read this. This is awkward, Rex. I kind of see you as my grandpa. All right, making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. I'm proud to call you mine. Eve, oh now you call her Eve, it's not the female anymore. Eve is in the Celtic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her. But too bad, I run the show. Wifey. Power couple time. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold that gun. I love that there's an alliance, but there's still these little jabs, like making fun of the other. I like it. It's great. It's really great. All right. Oh, this is from Deltras. All right, Commander. I'm deeply disappointed by you. <laughs> 
Ah, <sighs> not the first time I ever heard that. All right, by your actions, Aunt Chanka. As I thought, I made clear, curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage. I don't know, Delatras. Maybe just on you, but not all the Solarians. A Solarian actually helped them cure the genophage of Aimeyat. And the Solarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I don't know, man. I, it wasn't me who put the genophage in the first place. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but all galactic civilization. Delatras. You can't please them all. But I'm kind of hurt with her line here. Sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. It's not completely how it is. I did what I thought was right, and so did Morden. And he had a very clever mind of his own, I might say. But it still hurts. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Zeus Hope! Yay, we're acid! Alright, sorry. War of Ragnarok. Well, let's see, shall we? Hey, Garrus. Right, my turn. <laughs> What's the first order an alliance commander gives at the start of combat? What are you guys doing? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. Oh, stop it! <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Are they making friendly fire? Come on, that one goes back to Shang Chi. Jokes. The classics. Who's the best jokester? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterwards. <laughs> I don't know when a Turian's out of ammo. He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why oh. does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? Ooh, personal. You're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. Let me hear. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? Yeah. So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Wow. Damn, you need to tell James that one. <laughs> wow. That's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face. Ooh. Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. Well, they're the most funny of the group, so this makes sense. Hey, Garrus. Oh, I want to talk to Garrus! see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. Mm. I'd say more than a little. Haughty. <laughs> I'm sorry about Morden. Yeah. He got the job done. He was a friend. He was obviously a friend. He was a good man. Yeah, More he was always that. running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. <laughs> and this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. <laughs> Glad it was just your elbow. Yeah. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. That he was. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Okay. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. Works for me so too. how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? <sighs> I think it would be an honor. I like that he's checking up on me so much. I did it for the war effort. I don't know. None of this feels good because I feel the loss of more than the greatest. I keep thinking back on him. It doesn't feel good. Sure, it feels good that the Krogans are this united force now. But I can't see myself celebrating it. Not in songs, not in anything. But sure. It feels good if I take my emotional aspect out of it and my feelings for Morden. There's enough misery in this universe. 
It's nice to see something go right for a change. That's true. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, well stick around. Except for Sovereign <laughs> attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but... I mean... This one felt good. It did. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine <laughs> carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. He seems very traditional. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. Never. Never. Garrus. I could never do that. And I get it. You're a Torian. Maybe you see it in a very different perspective as I did, but... I could never do that, and a big part of that, if Rex perhaps did not survive Vermeer, if I shot him there, somebody else might have taken over with more traditional standpoints, then I would be hesitant to cure the Genophage. But everyone is rallying behind Erdnot's clan, Rex's clan, and he's reforming them. I'm hoping it's enough, but it never crossed my mind. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice Thank when you. we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Yeah. Can we kiss now? <laughs> Let's hope our luck holds. Can we just appreciate how hot Garrus is? I mean, he's so confident lately. I'm like, pfft, pfft, I need another pillow to bite in. <laughs> oh, I love you, my god. Hey, where's Edie? She's not here. Can we talk a little bit more? Commander. Nope. Can we talk a little bit more? I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. Tachanka? what you'd call a house on Tachanka. Well, we saw those ruins, did we not? Perhaps they will rebuild. I wonder where all the Krogan will mm. live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. All right, let me give you a big smooch. Mwah, smooch, love you. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm still recovering from Morden. But I'm appreciating Garrus and how often he is by my side and just how long he's been by my side. From the very beginning, he's the only one who truly stuck around from Masvek 1 to Masvek 3. All of the other companions sort of gone their own way but he never did he never did that is why he is the best companion and romance option fight me on it bring it bring it i'll happily debate you no i don't but that's my personal opinion oh no is he gonna be on here morden <gasps> he's on there He's with Ashley. I remembered how sad I was when Presley died. This is a whole other level. More than I never thought I'd see you on this fucking wall. <sighs> why would they do this? Why? This is why. This is why. They put the memorial up right in the middle here. Because it only will get worse. And this is a just reminder just how bad it's going to get. What if that whole wall is going to be filled? I'm still grieving. I can't do this. Let me check out the map, actually. Okay, Liera, we got Edie and Dr. Chocolates. And she is still in medical. Okay, the engineering's as per usual. Do I have anyone in my cabin? Nope, okay. Let's see. Well, nobody's here as expected. Come on. Let me just check the crew quarters anyway. No, nobody here. Let's go check in with Dr. Chocolates while well, she's got her medical bay back. No, Morden's not in it anymore. Don't cry again, Kim. It's like grieving a friend. Hey, 
Chocolate. Let's see you, Commander. You too. Shake it off. Hey, whoa! What are you doing here? This is the heart of things, isn't it? Hello, what are you Shepard? up to now? Whoa, I'm Jesus! I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? What? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 <sighs> meters in height. Sovereign is approximately two kilometers. Well, Jesus keep talking Christ. to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Yeah, we do. Holy crap, Edie. Sorry, I had to fix my makeup just a little bit before it all goes to shit again. Hello, Shepard. <sighs> okay, nothing else. Let's go then. Well, Garrus is not going to be with his big gun, is he? Shall we check anyway? <laughs> Please be with your big gun. I want to talk to you again and again and again and again. Well, nope. That was to be expected. I tried anyway, guys. I tried. Let's talk to Liera and see if the Shadow Broker base has any more new intel for us. Okay. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. Good. But we would need to send in teams to be sure. Can we do that? Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. <sighs> Why? For indoctrination still, maybe? What's this? Mass relay traffic reports. Increase, decrease in recent relay traffic. Window, 95 increase. Omega 2, 65 increase. Taskill, 32 increase. Signhead, 43. Pallion, 12. Sharon, unavailable. Shouldn't I take that unavailable? The oh. genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Well, let's point them all at the Reapers like we did the Ragnar, right? Nothing bad will come of it. Right. Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? If anyone can. Will this can. be the start of another Krogan empire? Well, you want us to be eaten by the Reapers? Be my guest. He's organizing the female Krogan. Yep, we still she have reminds Eve. reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. She's wonderful. She's amazing. I have a crush on the her. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. We'll have to get used to them having a bigger part in the galaxy. It doesn't have to be all bad, Liera. I get it because their nature is very violent, but it doesn't have to be bad. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy, and for the better. Yeah, me too. But with Bakara Eve there alongside Rex, I think we have a pretty good chance. Feel free to look around. I will, actually. You have any chips? Nope. Okay, no chips for me. Do you have anything new? Upgrades? Nope. Okay, then we go. Great then we go. Hey, glove, glove. Love you, babes. Love you. Okay, so we're gonna check out the shuttle bay. I really want to check out everyone. Also engineering first. Because we just finished a pretty big mission. So now is the time to talk to people. Okay, let's see. Dobby, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Tree? What about her? She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. Exactly, tell him. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. <laughs> you're so not her type. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her. Then. Maybe she will. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. Aww. Oh my god. This ruins it for me, man. I liked him so much. I love the accent and I get it. It's like joking around. It's just... So uncomfortable. My board is green. Shepard. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't talk about me that way. Any female on board. Female, the female Rex. <laughs> Rubbed off on me. Oh no, I'm just as bad. The females. Don't talk about the females this way. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can talk to Yavik and Diana, I suppose. Okay, hello. Hey Yavik, how you doing? Whoa, cutscene time. You're cleansing yourself? Commander. Hi. You settling in, Javik? Javik! I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. 
That is not my purpose. Oh, I want to be buddies. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. Yeah, that's why the water. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. Tell I detected me. a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. Yeah. And a drill. There was illness in him. Ten. Ten. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. Grunt. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. He's better now. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. Yeah. It's incredible. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. Imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. Uh -huh. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. But you never cared about the survival of all, did you? Because your culture was only fit for the strongest. Hmm, what's this? Was this imperative just your scientist's opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? Mm -hmm. The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. Big doubt. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. So there is no safety net for the Protheans, is it? Well, the species that were subservient to the Protheans. You either become strong or you die out. There's no helping hand. The weak need protection, the weak hold us back. No. If we can help people that are less privileged than us, then I feel we have an obligation to help them. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Is it? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. I think it's... that makes you Though weaker. I don't think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Neither do I. But I'm willing we to are. talk. I think she just had a different idea about what Protheus... Very different. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Perhaps, but I feel these conversations are actually a benefit to all of us, either way. Even if you're not the noble scholar Liara wishes you to be. I mean, it's a good insight on how the previous cycle was. Isn't that interesting at all? <laughs> anyway, you really? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. That's what I mean. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. Yeah, you were it born into it. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Hmm. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Let's hope we win this. I am thinking of something because Javik was actually a product of his time, yes, because he was born in the constant war against the Reapers the Protheans had, but perhaps before the Reapers started attacking, I wonder how the Protheans actually were, what their culture was before all of that. Because perhaps they felt the need to be strong to be able to fight against the Reapers over and over and over again. So that is why they value that strength so much. What if they didn't need to oppress all of these races? Maybe they did beforehand anyway, before the Reaper War. I don't know, because Javik can't tell me that. Because again, he was a project of his own time. What came before, I don't know. He was bred for war. He was bred to be strong. It's an interesting narrative, and I like theorizing about it. What do you think? Thank you, Commander. I have seen the death of a Reaper. It has been a long time. You're welcome. Let's hope it's... If the oh, Krogan seek sorry. retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the... Okay, okay, enough, enough. There are no cannon fodder. 
Do not care what others think. Do what you must. That's the really first good advice you've given me. And it's exactly right. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do what you must. Here's your sign. That was your sign. I was always worried what people thought of me, but not anymore, man. Not anymore. Jennifer HQ, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I bet. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which place is that again? Back in Stein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Aww. Cute. Well, I'll leave you to it because you can't. Maybe she has a conversation after Chachanka. Commander, got him in? Hi! What do you want to know? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like You've this. You just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. Right. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? Ah, uh, if this is Rachni's redemption, they need us to let the win the war first. No, let's think about this. Okay, what do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Ragnar war and Krogan rebellions? They need us too. Well, no, I actually think, not just because it's the Paragon option, I believe this could be the Krogan redemption with Bakara, Eve, and Rex combining forces and guiding the Krogan into this new era. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once. And they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? Yep, I did. We talked about it in the little truck that we had in Chuchanka. So this is not news to me. So yeah, that can be negotiated. I mean, they can take back their original colony worlds. Rex would like 20, but Bakara is here. Maybe I should just call her Eve. That might be easier. But Eve is still there to restrain, to have some restraint and be the intellectual, you know? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species concerned. That is true. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the council and the Krogan. Exactly. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. There you go. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Wonderful. Well, I had some benefit talking to you then, huh? Krogan clans were us at updated. I'll check that out a little bit later then. Well, we did something. We got a little bit of a reputation once again. Let's see what's hiding in the shadow bay. Ah, there you are. Hi, Cortez. How are you doing? Diagnostics flagged excessive wear on a transducer. Replacing just in case. Good job. Wonderful. Good to see you, Commander. Very always good to see you. Love you, Cortez. You have no idea. Okay, so talk to James and then we're ready to rumble, I suppose. Finally. I know it takes a while. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything. How right? cool would that be? Oh my god. I'd be scale woman. I'd be scale woman for sure. Look at me swimming through the ocean with a fast speed of a mermaid. <laughs> Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. That would be cool. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Yep. Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Not to us, no. Hey. 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 Hey, Sophie. A big smooth. I love you. All right, so I suppose we go to the Citadel? Unless we have other places to explore. Well, we have that Cerberus attack mission, don't we? Shall we check that out? Give me a sec. Let me save first. Well, let me check. Fighter base. Admiral Hackett has requested assistance with a Cerberus fighter base on Novaria. Land to Novaria to disable the base defenses. Let's do that before the priority mission. You never know if it's going to bite me in the ass and not be available later. Bye, Tchaka. It's been great, I suppose. Not really. We achieved a lot, but at what cost, man? What cost? Is this it? Meet the Solarian Counselor? No. This is the fighter base. Let's go there. Let me check this out. It's probably... Not great of a mission, but we will see anyway. Alright, Noveria. It's been a while, huh? Let's check. It's been a long time, my friend. Ooh, we're back on Ophiria. I did not expect that, to be quite honest with you. No, no, no. 
All right, squad selection. Let's go with the Garrus and let's bring James. I feel like I want to bring James today. Okay, so I have upgraded. Let me do the flare bitsy. Ooh. Let's go with that. Now I have three left. Nope, can't do that. Okay, hold on. Tree and a rebel. Let's go with the armor piercing. Let's go with the. Yep, okay. Master of Arms. Let's go with Master of Arms. Cool. Power damage. Oh, god damn you. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait unless I do the fortification. Protection. Sure, do that one. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this mission is about. Back on the frozen planet. Right, Hackett, doing this for you, Chief. Oh. Commander, the Hi. enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks oh, to the fire no. squadron facility you're about to attack. Uh -oh. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. So you need How me. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. They won't notice me? Commander. I have visual contact. Oh. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. They won't notice me? I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Fine, drop me. Let's do it. What choice do I have, right? What choice do I have? Ooh, oh, Noveria! Oh, it looks better, doesn't it? Oh my god. I'm kind of excited because it's been so long. Good to be back at a Mass Effect 1 planet. You'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Uh oh. Keep an eye out for the command center. Give me seconds. Give me seconds. Been a moment. Okay, is that a grenade being tossed? <gasps> yep, it probably is. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. There you go. Hello. Oh no. Wait. Okay, it's not. <sighs> My God. Okay, hold on. There you go. Fuck off then. Okay, you need to relax. Anybody else? Nope, that's just my baby. It's just my baby. Oh, look, we're back in Noveria. Ooh, it looks pretty. Okay, enough, 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 enough. I gotta focus. Everybody's still in hiding. Oh, there's somebody there? Yeah, there is. Hi. I missed you, didn't I? All right, We're playing with the big boys now. Are you dead? Oh, but you are not. Hi, die. Playing with the big boys now. Oh yes, we are. Okay, leave. Hey James, how you doing? Let me just check around the shuttle. No, I think we're good. Oh god, there are more, aren't they? Okay, let's just go inside. I hear shooting. What is this? Examine. Weekly processing report, Sergeant Parker. All on base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols updated successfully. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I hear something. You know what? I'll leave you to it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. It's fine. It's fine. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying. Hold on. Get down, Shep. Thanks. Let me. Ooh, what's that? Okay, that's a data pad. Am I ready to grab it? I am now. Give me that. Oh, hi. Didn't see you. How you doing? Found the control center. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me a moment, actually, because I felt like I skipped something back here. This is so huge. What the fuck? All right, so that's that way. 
This is huge! Oh my god, okay, let me just activate it. Where did I come from? Did I come from here? Yeah, I think I did. I don't want to miss out on anyone. Some of you have been bitching about in the You're comments. Right. Getting close. Got your back. That I do this too quickly, apparently. Though I feel like I barely miss anything, so maybe you should just shh. <laughs> there you go. Pistol upgrade. You should look slower. You should look slower. Don't tell me what to do. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Alright, well that's it. Okay, let me activate the controls. Because I feel like we're gonna have to battle here anyway. Let's go. Deactivate. I do it. Alright. So. Well, Garrus. There you go. Garrus, make it quick. On it. God damn it, I should have brought Edie or something. Be well. Ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. It's probably gonna be Garrus, though. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. If Please I have to choose. No problem. Damage. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown. Uh oh. Okay. Couldn't be avoided. Cool, great. Well, let me pull you like that, and let me carnage him like that. Well, don't take my Garrus anywhere. I'm worried about my Garrus. Do not hurt my Garrus. You okay, Garrus? Oh, how dare you! Hello? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Lovely if you could respond, Shepard. Would love that. Thank you. Uh oh. Excuse me. That's my baby boy. Oh hi. How you doing? Fuck off. Who else? We're camping here, boys. Come on, we got this. Two to authorize shutdown. Really? You want me? Okay, fine. Okay, you got this? Defense system deactivated. General order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish Clear the landing patch. Okay, here I go. I got this. Large scale deployment to the landing pad, Shepard. I'm going, babe. That's where we need to go. I'm going. Ah, I can't see shit. Really? That's just rude. Oh no, I can't do that. <laughs> Die, would ya? Jesus. Um, Chevy, thank you. Oh, hi, many of you here! <laughs> Come on. I got this. Hmm, okay, Nemesis. Hello, how are you doing? Ah. Uh oh, who's out? Of course, James is out. Excuse me. Oh, how dare you? Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. Who else wants a piece of me? Come on. I got this. I got this. There you go. Who else? There you go, buddy. Okay, there was somebody here hiding. Yep, I see ya. Bye! God damn it. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Right. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your Oh no. I see it. I see it. An atlas. Terrific. Yeah, wonderful. Everything you got. Oh, come on. I barely made that. Oh shit, right in my face. Come on. Mm. Come on. I gotcha. I gotcha. There you go. He's out. Exact the wolf though. Just the usual minor flesh. Oh, like a bullet to your face? A rocket to your face? 
Oh, come on. Copy that, Lieutenant. Oh, okay, our strike force, not the... Okay, great. Okay, I can live with that. Wonderful. Oh, well, that wasn't too hard. Look at us doing amazing stuff today. <sighs> yes. <laughs> hey. This was a major victory, Commander. I know. A blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. I'm amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Good. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Thanks to me. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. I'll tell. Thank you, sir. Garrison James. That's all. Hack it out. And of course, Cortez. He's always with me in these missions. All right. Well, I... Ooh, a lot of credits. Okay, let me just really quickly check out the new war assets, okay? I like reading them. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah, I knew it was the green Asari. Okay, the Asari Shaila was rescued by Commander Shepard from the Thorian on Zeus Hope. Now she leads militia of Zeus Hope colonists, waging a surprisingly effective campaign against the encroaching... Is that the word? Sure. Reapers. Shayla suspects the group's prior connection through the Thorian <laughs> gives their soldiers an uncanny ability to sense one another, allowing them to think and act as one in battle. Yeah, we read about that. The long-term consequences of this connection are unknown, but for now, at least, its effects are helping the cause. Yeah, I don't want to think about what happens in the long run, but hey, it's helping us now. Better than to die, right? Okay, a squadron of advanced fighter ships was liberated from Cerberus forces in Novaria. Ha ha ha! Fast, agile, and remarkably few effective. These one-person spacecrafts pack surprisingly heavier, heavy firepower for their size. After the Alliance installed their own VI programs and swept for hidden bugs or transmission signals, they repainted the fighters and pressed them into service. Good. So, we did something right there. This is after the interview I did with Diana. Krogan clans. Centuries of Krogan infighting abruptly halted, yes, but updated. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about bringing the Krogan into the Reaper War cost the Krogan in a favorable light, which drew even more of the clans to the Alliant Forces banners. Yay. Well, guess she's not that bad after all, huh? It's good to have her on board. Well, at least she spreads the word, I suppose. And we do not allow censorship on this ship anymore. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Hmm. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. And I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. Good. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. I'll agree with you on that. Okay, so... Really? I just wanted to go to the Citadel now. You have anything to say? No, okay. Well, let me check out the message then, okay? Hope lives. Oh, Bakara! It's Eve! Oh, my best friend! Okay, Commander. I'm riding you from the Celtic Valley on Tuchanka. Rex told me about that, yes. I wish you were here to see this. I am watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I have lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. Well, I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people. I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking out loud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is a reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. We owe more than this, but thank you. Okay, so we done the little Cerberus mission. I really do need to have a Codex and Chill, don't I? Yeah, I need to plan a live stream where we're gonna go 
Codex and Chill. I think that might be fun, and I am doing a little bit more live streams lately, and that's working out great, so it's gonna come soon, okay? It's about time. Okay, well, I suppose we go to the Citadel, because I don't see anything else to do. Let's go. Let me save, just to be sure, just to be sure. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm scared. <sighs> okay, there we go. Let's talk to Odina, I suppose. If he's actually a little bit corrupted or anything like that, we'll see. God, I am aching for a peanut butter sandwich. I don't know, it just popped into my head and now I want it. It's, it's over lunchtime. Just a little bit longer, Kim. You can have your lunch break. <laughs> okay, what's this? I don't think there's anything else we can do in the meantime. I Yeah, that, that one's just shitty. That one, no, we don't talk about that one. Yeah, let's go to the city though. For it's to unlock more missions. Ooh, there we go. Meet the Salarian counselor. All right, that is what we shall do. The little shit. <laughs> I don't like her. I don't know if it's a her or him. I'm conflicted. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna refer to them as they now, because they kind of have a female voice. But then I have heard many people calling him pronoun. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Better be. What? What are you shaking your head for? What's wrong? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What is this? What's happened? <sighs> what? Cerberus? Cerberus? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. This is bad. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Thane, put him through. Hey. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the dock. Shit, we gotta get rid of them. Are you safe? Are you? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a presidium store. He's sick, damn it! Did Caden make it out? We, we got separated. He said he had to protect the council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. Oh, Tane. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. <laughs> God damn. Aye, aye, Commander. I forgot about Caden again. <laughs> I was like, oh right, he's still there too. <gasps> but damn it, Tane is sick. Is this going to affect his lifespan even more? <sighs> Let's bring Yavik. Um, yeah, this is all good. Confirm. Ooh, I got even more points now. We can do pulls. Let's go with finesse. Hmm. Yep. That one for sure, thank you. Okay, yeah, we can't do that yet, but we can. Okay, well, we can't do anything else here yet, so let's go. Ooh, fucking Cerberus, how did they manage this though? Really? I mean, it's not the Reapers. Are their forces this big? Well, yeah, probably. Come on, Cisek. Come on. I'm worried about all the citizens. Oh, come on. Frick off with your stupid mech. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not the Qtorian. Come on. Oh, he just fell on his ass so bad. Oh, no. Did he actually die? I just thought he stumbled. <laughs> now I feel bad. Cortez, get me in here. Oh, my God. Why do this? Indoctorated for sure, man. Shit. Why, why, why? No! Bailey! Was that Bailey? Okay, people. No, no. no. Did they get to oh, Bailey? Man. Are you fucking kidding me? No! The Cutorians! How dare you! Oh, I'm gonna get that turret! I'm gonna get that turret! Fuck off! I swear to god! How dare you! 
Okay, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm immediately dying. I'm sorry, my rage got to me because I saw Bailey dying. Now I'm gonna die. Oh, maybe not. Hey, okay, so pay attention. There's more there. Sorry, I got raged. Okay, let's go in cover. I said let's go in cover, Shep. Thank you. Because you're ready to die once again. Okay, somebody's right behind me. Oh, hi, big fella. How are you doing? Did not see you there. Thanks, Garrus. Oh, well, that was a big miss. Let me slam him. Come on, then. Fine. Oh, he's still fine. Okay. Bailey, he's not dead. Nearly killed myself for nothing, huh? Alright, slam him, please. You know, you need to leave me the fuck alone. Just say it. Load, come on. Ah, damn. Who else? There's somebody there. Do that for me, please. I can't seem to find them. There you go. Flare. Anybody else? Yep, somebody's right there. There you go. Oh, hi! <laughs> you had a little stick, do ya? Well, I got my charge. Well, maybe not. Shit, shit. Never mind, I don't have my charge. There you go. What's this? Fuck off. Oh, what? What? Bailey! Bailey. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I'll lose you too. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. I know, me too. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. Fuck. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in c sex flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are Caden is there, running towards they them. They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. <sighs> can you get us in? Can ya? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. I'll take one for you. Shit, man. I'm good at taking bullets. Bailey, you gonna be okay? Shit, so much destruction. Why now? You can't control the Reapers, you stupid idiots. Definitely indoctrinated. There's no way. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What? What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. But... He wasn't. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... Wait a minute, why meet now? Why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor mentioned Nudina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? What? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. Wait, 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 wait. I'm fearing the worst now. Because Odina was so for humankind and all of that in our last conversation that we had with him. But he would he turn to Cerberus? Because Cerberus is all for humankind too, but lately, oh no. Is Odina indoctrinated too? Is he working with Cerberus? Oh no, my head is spinning. Okay, it can, I can launch a rescue. Okay, we have to go to the counselor. We have to find out more. One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? Jesus! It could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. And we go there, you know I'm best. You were here at CSEC. Just a sec. What? There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Good. Wonderful. We're linked. Be careful, okay, Bailey? I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose any of you. Thank Did you hear all that? Tame! I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. He's sick. I shouldn't be doing all of this. If something happens to Thane now, I can't handle it. I can't. I, I'm not over Morden. 
I can't lose another friend. Not Tane, goddammit! If I lose Tane, I will be very upset. You have no idea. I will destroy every single one of- every single one if Tane is hurt. Okay, hold on, I need my pool. God damn it, could you reload, please? There you go. Alright, woohoo! You got blasted! Oh, another one, huh? Let's try that again. Alright, pull up. Then slam the fuck out of him. Thank you, loser. Oh, you're gone. Who else? Let's see if we've got anything here. Don't think so, guys. Hmm. Grenade. Thank you. Okay, there's the generator. Let's go. Uh-oh. Reactivate. Two medic gel. What's this? Ooh, piercing mod? God damn, what the fuck? Where are they? Okay, you're right in my face. God damn you. You're gone. Are you still coming there? Yep. Come on then. There you go. That's what I thought. Jerk. In the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. I can bypass this door. Let me just check. See if anything is here. I gotta look slower. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> just making fun of it. Okay, what's this? Entry wounds in the back of the head. Looks like a surprise, not an execution. We've got hardcore traders here. Yep, we got insiders. Mars. Cerberus likes their sleeper agents. Fuck! Don't tell me it's Dina. Don't tell me it's him. I can't forgive him for that. I'm a forgiven person, damn it! But I could never. Okay, let's see. Come on, open the goddamn door, would ya? Do not glitch on me. Thank you. Yep, she's here, alright. Ooh, nice one. Alright, you wanna bring it? You wanna ramble? You wanna ramble? Come on. Oh, whoa! That hit me right in my face. Excuse me. Reload. Okay, he's dead? He's gone? No. Is that Garrus? Yeah, that's Garrus. Mwah, smooch, love you. Oh, Garrus. What traitors do we have this time? I'm worried about Tane. If Odina! Makes Tane die? I'm gonna be really upset. Okay, I don't know where we came from anymore. Ooh, later. Cre oh my god. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. Just. They were having a bathroom break! Come on! That is despicable. And you know what? These are humans! What are they doing? They're all for humankind, my ass. Because CSEC used to be mostly Turian, but after the Battle of the Citadel, humans got immense respect and they joined CSEC. So there were a lot more forces, human forces, at CSEC. And to be the first to be overruled in the first wave by Cerberus. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser. Are you dead? What's this hatch? Can we go here? Yep. Alright, what's this first? Oh, it's the weapon bench. Don't need it right now. Activate. Thank you. Okay, weapon upgrade. Got some ammo. Alright, we're good to go. Uh, 
Elevator up, I guess. I'm worried about chain. No. None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. Unfortunately not. I wonder if Caden is anywhere near the counselor. Oh my god, guys. Why do this? Richview. Lamont. You alive? You are giving away our position. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. Hmm. Of course he worked here for so long. He's losing all the people he his old colleagues. Come on. Okay, personal lock, Armando Owen Bailey, entry one. Warn Herc that if he doesn't fill out his reports properly, I am kicking his ass from one end of the Citadel to another. Entry two, reschedule meeting with customs analyst about cargo weight. Disrepentiencies over the last year. Don't let him wiggle out of that again, damn it. Reports of undesirable gettings on station illegally. Have biometric systems calibrated again. Kick Herc's sorry ass from one end of the Citadel to the other! <laughs> well, okay. Does that have anything to do with the traitor bit, though? Uh-oh. Oh, it's just glitching. Hornets. I'll check it all out. Don't worry. Oh, that might actually be good. Count details. Anything else there? Okay, we can go around there. Give me a second to go up the stairs here. Ridiculous. Helmet, high caliber barrel. Okay, a lot of loot here. Daddy loves loot. <laughs> okay. We came from there, did we not? Hold on. Yep, we came from there. Did we check out this place? Yeah, okay, no, we didn't. Data pad. Oh my goodness. Okay, from Sergeant Araya Shaw to Captain Iena Mao, I brought up an issue <laughs> from evidence so you can see for yourself. We caught the slag who was assembling it in one of the tower, under than ten bathrooms. He got it past the detectors in pieces, metal barrel in a hollowed out omni tool, ESO in one of those Sissian toothbrushes. The rest was plastic or chromatic. No gang ink on him. He wasn't a sports coach like most of the male employees of the tower. His ID was manufactured. He's got a record that dates back to when his med card was issued. But before that, nothing. This is way beyond coincidence. He, this is a pro assassin and he is not alone. We got people smuggling talents all over the stations. Patrol knows it. Organized crime knows it. Everyone knows it. But when you try to talk to the mayor, you hit a steel wall. Where's eternal affairs when you need them? Why can't we get them to open an investigation on customs? You would not get away with this blind eye business if this were LA or Hong Kong. The major says he's not going to screw over good police because of one nut with a pistol. This just isn't one. Ask the executor. This, if this is the stuff we're catching. What's slipping by? Yeah, what is slipping by? I mean, look at the place. Alright, come on. There's a door right here. What? Well, now you stop being useful. He was doubting. Oh no. Because it was a human and Cerberus initially stood for humankind. Some of the troops are doubting. Can some of the Cerberus troops walk over to me, maybe? Maybe it's too late for that. We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above. Okay. Let's hope we're not too late. Indeed. Urgently needed at the comm towers. Fola suits are highly pressurized. Caution. Stay alert for. Oh my god. Oh no, yo, yo, no. Oh, here we go again. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Okay, I'm gonna flag grenade you. I'm gonna 
shoot you, and I'm gonna flare you. There you go. Who is shooting me? You are. Hmm, why don't I have my ammo on, though? There you go. How fucking dare you? Excuse me. I couldn't charge. I wanted to charge, but I couldn't. I need to get in cover. Uh-oh. Run. Run. I said run! Oh my god, Shepard. You just rolled right into that one. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hi, big boy. How about your blink flare me? There you go. Can you just die? I'm over all of you. I said reload, Chef. Come on. Oh, why are you running about so much? Go away. Alright, medical station. Grab that. That. So much death. For what? For what? You're just weakening the galaxy like this. Perhaps that is the Reaper's plan, is it not? Alright, let's go. We can go down, and we can go there. <sighs> Oh, it's up the stairs, he mentioned. Let me just check down the stairs for a bit then. We can't go there. Nope. We can examine it. Alright, well, guess not. Maybe that's our way out. Let's see what we have here. Hopefully, we're not too late. With my tumbling about today, I don't know. Bailey. Looks like they got the executor Shit. and chief Valerian bodyguards. Shit! Come on! Damn, alright, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. That was not a specter, right? No. A Solarian specter? What the fuck is that? <gasps> Delatras? Nope. Found him. He looks unharmed. So get him somewhere safe. Tane? No, that's not Tane. That's the assassin. Whoa! Why do you look like the Winter Soldier? <laughs> he does! Ooh! Maybe. Now I'll get this lair in loyalty. Oh god, maybe not. Yo, don't even think about it. Come on. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. Bucky? That remains to be seen. Relax, Bucky. <laughs> I mean, Odina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. We don't know that yet. Three on one, pal. It's over. Back away. No. No, it's fun. What, Kai? Dang! Oh! No! No, you son of a... Leave him alone. Tane, thank you. Are you okay? Don't overextend yourself. No, don't you fucking come near my boy. Honestly. No, 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 no. Okay, come on, Tank, come on. And he's not even at his fullest potential and he's kicking this little assassin's ass? There you go. Please don't hurt him. Oh! No, 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 you don't. He was already hurt. Come on, he was sick. Don't tell me I gotta. No, no, come on, don't tell me I gotta say goodbye to him. You son of a bitch! I don't even care if you're the Windsor Soldier now! Fucking kill him! Fucking kill him! Fucking kill him! Come on! Don't tell me I'll lose you too now. Come on, no, no. How bad is it? I have time. Catch How up. much time? What's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an Jesus assassin. Jesus Christ! He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Udina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. He is a traitor. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I don't want to leave Tane. What if he doesn't have enough time? Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. I can't save everybody. Oh, I'm so gonna kill you. 
I am so gonna kill you. I'm so mad. Just drive up! Smash him! Come on! Just lift the shuttle! Behead him! I don't care! Oh my god, you guys are stupid. You could've beheaded him. Okay, great, great. Now what do we do? Yavik! Help a girl out, would ya? Oh! Damn it! Damn you! Fuck, we're going down, boys! We might have to evacuate the shuttle here! Oh, God. We're gonna crash right into the hospital. What are the comm towers? That's okay. What about the commons? Worst place to be! God damn it, God damn it! How did we live? Okay, we need to get out. Curve glider? <laughs> yeah, sure, it's a glider for sure. We need to get out of the vessel. Garrus, get out of there. I don't like that we had to Sherlock. leave Tane. My instruments say your car stopped. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Odina's with them. Odina. I'm in range of that assassin. This is all over. It's actually Odina. On my way. I still had hoped it wasn't. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! How dare you! How fucking dare you! God damn it! God damn it! God, I'm mad! Fuck off! Ugh. Shoot them all to hell! I don't even care anymore. I am so mad. Just die. All of you. Bring it! Bring it, sister! Fucking bring it! I mean, how dare all of you do this? Come on then! Huh? Come on then! There you go! I said, there you go! Come on! I am too stubborn! There you go! God damn it! God damn it! I can't do this! I just. I'm so upset! Okay. Yavik is there. I kinda have to end the episode here, but I don't want you. God damn it, guys. Let me see how far it is. Oh my god, you serious right now? You dick! You absolute dick! They don't like to hold still. No, they sure don't. What the hell are you doing? Okay, still on cooldown. Don't think so. Don't think so. Don't think so. I said don't think so. I won it! Yes! Leave me alone! I'm too upset and mad about this. There you go, Javik. There you go. I'm so sorry. Anything else here? Oh, God damn you! God damn you! They sealed it behind them. The plaza is there. Okay. Yeah, guys, unfortunately, I am out of time. God damn it! God damn it! I'm so mad! Because no matter what I do, it's never good enough! There's always a shit show! I'm just... I'm so frustrated because I'm still not over Morden, and now I'm dreading to fear to lose Tane, Odina is a traitor, Cerberus is attacking the Citadel while it has just recovered from the Sovereign, and now the war is brought right onto their doorstep. They tried to ignore it, but here it is. It's just... Who the fuck is this assassin? I need his head. I'm not resting before I have his head. I... I'm just mad. I am just so... Mad. I'm upset. I'm mad. Because I. No matter what I do, it 
doesn't seem to mean anything and I know that is not true but right now I am so frustrated probably because I also have to go and I can't complete the mission right now but I can't I'm sorry guys um, I'm out of time I have to go <sighs> do any of you get all of these emotions while you're playing Mass Effect because I have been Morning. I have been incredibly heartbroken. I have been frustrated. I have been upset. I have been mad. I have been raging. I have been happy. I. But right now, it's all gone to shit. Anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here. I'm ranting. Sorry. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like because that really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying the playthrough. So if you would, subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And I guess I will see you in the very next episode where we're going to assassinate an assassin. See ya.